Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to build a very simple paint application. We will be able to draw, erase, and finally save our drawings to a file. Let's create a package. You can create a new project. I'm going to create paint app, which is going to be the main entry point to the application. We'll do the usual thing that we do with any JavaFX application. We launch it with arguments and also call stage show. At this point, we'll need a user interface. So we're going to use the effectsml file for that, um, as with any MVC JavaFX application. We'll then need to create a controller. I'm going to call paint controller. Which we'll set here. I'm going to set the height and width of the application to 600 by 600. We're going to have a menu, a toolbar, and also a canvas on which we can draw. So the first thing that comes to mind is border pane. We're going to have top node, and also center node occupied. Center node is going to be one big canvas. Width and height are going to be exactly the same as the application width and height. As for the top, we're going to have a vertical box which will contain menu. and a toolbar. We'll name our menu file because most of the time it's called file on Windows anyway. Let's have two actions, two menu items. One will be called save so we can save our work afterwards. The other one is just exit. In our toolbar, we're going to add a horizontal box with centered alignment. Which will contain three things. We're going to have a text field containing brush size, then a color picker, and also a checkbox to say um, if we're going to erase something that we've drawn. This is it for now for the fxml file. Let's go and define the same in the controller. So we'll need our canvas. Color picker. Brush size and finally Eraser checkbox. We've defined two menu items which correspond to two actions, save and exit. These actions translate in the controller into methods. On save and on exit. 
on save we are going to take a snapshot of our canvas then it use image io to write the image to a file with the PNG format. And the file name is going to be paint.png. Any exceptions caught will be reported to the command line. Let's we'll say fail to save image. On exit is going to just call platform.exit, which will shut down the JavaFX application. Now we can wire the, uh, these things to the controller. So on action is going to call on save. And this is going to call on exit. We can now load the UI using FXML loader. We'll first need to set scene. as well set the title to paint app. So now we have an application with the um, too many items, a toolbar and the canvas on which we can um, we will be able to draw in a few minutes. Let's also set the text to the checkbox saying that it's eraser. Right, in order to be able to draw, we'll need to attach a listener to the canvas. And the best way to do that is to initialize everything in the method called initialize. This method has a specific signature and it will be called automatically by the FXML loader when the controller class has been instantiated. We'll first obtain the graphics context on which we're going to draw. Then we're going to set a listener called set on mouse dragged. This is when mouse is clicked and then moved. We'll obtain the size of the brush. And we're going to assume that um, input is valid. We're going to obtain X and Y values from the mouse event and we're going to offset it by half of the size. We'll now need to check, um, yes, we now need to check if the eraser is selected or not. So if it is selected, then we're going to clear the rectangle. If it doesn't, uh, if it's not selected, then we are going to draw. We'll set fill from the color picker. And then fill rectangle X, Y, and width and height. Let's set color to blue. Blue-ish. I think it's violet even. Right, so we can draw now. Let's make that bigger. Dark red. We can also erase. And this brush size is also going to affect the eraser. Right, 
Right, so now we have the basic functionality ready. Um, one last thing to do is to check if we can actually save it. So let's add something in there. File, save. You can find that file, which is pain.png. And yes, it saved um, the things that we drew on the canvas. Right, to just go through this thing one more time. Um, in the effectsml file, you have the user interface of the application. And we've defined the user interface to be a menu, toolbar, and a canvas. So we have two menu items, which are the actions that can be performed, which are under the file menu. Then we have brush size, text field, color picker, and a checkbox. And the application consists of a one of one bit canvas essentially. In the controller, we have the references to these UI objects. And we've created two methods that do exactly the same that these are supposed to do. So these essentially map to these two methods. And everything is done via a listener. While the paint app file or class just wires everything up and sets up the MVC. Currently, we don't really have a model because our application is simple enough to just hard code things in the controller and we can get away with it. And finally, we are able to save an application or save a drawing to a file. This was a simple paint application. Thanks for watching.